Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Xenonauts. So it's been a few hours, I've taken a break, um, but I really wanted to get back to the game the same day. Uh, last episode was an utter disaster for uh, many, many reasons, but mostly my own stupidity, uh, as tends to be the case. But I'm not convinced that the game's 100% over yet. I still think that there is some salvaging that I can do. What that means is that I have to be very, very careful. I mean, let's, let's think about what we have here. We probably took on the hardest mission, right? We have now aliens who throw grenades. And I wasn't paying too much attention to the amount of... Uh, you know, being surrounded essentially by by the people, uh, by doors that were around. That it was a little late that I noticed it, um, but I didn't pull up at fast enough, and I should have. I should have, which basically ended up being our death. Now, at the same time, we ended up still capturing our objective. We had a sole survivor of one mission, and he came back with the with the uh, with the objective. He did what he was supposed to do, right? And that's exciting, uh, and on a lot of, for a lot of reasons. Um, but now. We kind of have to, we find ourselves in a really interesting situation where we are down some of our best people. I mean, we had, for the longest time, you know, people who could, you know, we had captains. We had multiple captains. We had somebody who has been with us for the longest time. And Jackson Chapman is the only one to come back alive. He's the only one to see his entire squad, every single one of his friends, die. But he still carried out the mission and was able to bring home the corpse uh, or the the unconscious body of the alien that we were after the fir in the first place. So I'd be doing him a disservice if I did not continue on um, at least one more mission. We're gonna have to be very careful. Uh, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We we need to hire more soldiers. Um, we have to be very very careful with the next few steps. I guess um, I'm gonna take him. I mean he has high bravery, but everything else is really low. Um, we need to be very careful with what we do next. So we're gonna hire only a couple more soldiers. Um, let's let's just be very very picky. Just hire a couple, and everybody else is gonna be slapped back on the squad. Uh, I mean, let's take a look at what we have for Christ's sake. Actually, do we have anything we can sell? Not really. Don't think so. So let's uh, go ahead and, and pop some people in here. So one. This guy right here, Hiana, she came back with one HP. We had two people survive. We had two people survive. I forgot, she came back with one HP. Um, there's a chance that they could come back. So let's go ahead and bring Victor Peterson back. Let's just assign everybody that we have to the Charlie squad. Now, if any alien ships show up, we will just shoot them down and leave them alone. We're not going to take out men uh, on an attack run for a long time. It's just not going to happen. Uh, we need to be very, very careful with that. So... Victor Peterson is going to get the, the usual loadout. We're going to make sure he's back to normal. Um, he is our captain, of course, so we're going to be we're going to make sure that he is going to be kind of up and at him quite often. We have a corporal here. Now, what we need is somebody with high strength. So, is our captain a high strength kind of guy? He's got 55 strength currently. If he's our highest strength guy, we might have him be our heavy. He is our highest strength guy, Private. Private Sander is our highest strength dude. He's got all right bravery. Um, right right now, he's going to have to be our heavy weapons. Um, it sucks that he's going to have to be our heavy weapons because he's a private. But at the same time, he's going to get a lot of uh, early battle prep, I guess. We actually don't need any of that because it doesn't matter. We'll give him one, We'll give him two of these. And we'll go ahead and slap down some more jackal armor on him. And that's going to be him. Uh, let's go ahead and, e e and set this as default for heavies. So we have one sniper, one heavy. We need a shield guy. Shield guy is going to have someone with a high time high time units and a decent bravery. Yana Kozlova might be our best bet. Though this person might be even. You know what? Uh, Lieutenant Anja Kaiser, you are going to be our new shield person. Equip default. No, we're going to go ahead and change your role to the shield. And uh, we'll go ahead and equip the default and see what it is. Okay, so your default is that. We're going to give you the wolf armor. It's not the best, but it's going to be better than nothing. Um, what do I want to give you here? One stun grenade. I would love to just have you not be overweight. So that's what we're going to... We're going to give you... We'll give you one grenade to play with. It's going to bring your time units down a little bit, but it's going to be learning... A learning process. So we've got our shield, a heavy, a sniper, and a few riflemen. We have to wait uh, for the rest. It sucks, 
Uh, but it is what it is. So, a battlefield, alien interrogation, which we could do. This may shed some light on objectives of the aliens that bring a step closer to defeating them. A long-range and accurate alien marksman weapon. Study its construction may advance our knowledge of energy weapons, which could be good. But the jump ship is going to be even more important, in my opinion. So let's get the jump ship. The drop ship, rather, up there. It's going to take all of those men. Let's fast forward a bit. So we got another set of battle armor and another laser. Okay. That's important. Actually, that's really important that I haven't equipped everybody as I, I would like. So where's our captain? He's our captain. You're going to get another set of battle armor. It's heavy, but it's going to work. Uh, your time units are 56. It's not bad. We can kind of just give these guys what we need. We should spend time equipping everybody as, as we need right now. Everybody here, anyway. Let's go ahead back to lasers. And give her... What do we got? Another laser rifle. We got one more rifle that we can hand out. And, uh, of course, we'll go ahead and... Slap this on and give you jackal armor. It's going to be a little bit heavy, but actually we'll do is one and one. He's good. He's good. 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 Good, good. So everybody's kind of equipped. I'll take it. Speed of time for a little bit. See if we can shoot some things down. UFO detected. We got a couple UFOs detected. So let's go ahead and cancel both for now. So let's intercept. Let's intercept these guys. Foxtrot, Condor, Condor. Intercept, Foxtrot, Condor. Hope we get both. Cancel for now. Very small. We'll go ahead and do both. We're going to auto-resolve and just crash them. Got a couple alien alloys. Another crashed. Return to base. Auto-resolve. Return to base. Oop. Okay. So let's go ahead and airstrike this. Now, is this a small? to medium. I wonder if I can actually do anything with it. No, they're not going to be done for another... Ah, they landed. Okay, there they are. Send them out. Whoa, why? Okay, let's wait. So, what is this? Buzzer jumpsuit. Uh, designed for mobility over, pro over protective ability. It is fitted with the integrated jump unit, a device that allows the wearer to move vertically on the battlefield. The refinement of the armor plate has decreased weight, slightly reducing protection but letting the soldier move uh, carry more in battle uh the jump unit is rather substantial device worn in the back harness okay so it's basically just like it's jump armor buzzard scout armor and we're gonna intercept again but this time we're gonna send both our fox trots in one condor and just crush them hopefully auto resolve it get them home okay so hopefully all that protection is gonna go well so we got more soldiers I do want to do that. Both stunning biological things. That's really good. Electroshock grenade would be really nice. Corsair interceptor. I guess we guess we'll do the alien alien interrogation. This has got to be almost done. We need to just interrogate this alien officer and see what we can get. Hopefully we get some damage boost or something. Also, at the same time, I want to take a look at our dropship here. Hmm. Do I have to buy a new one? That'd be a pain in the ass. But if I have to buy a new one, that would suck. I'd have to decommission this one, presumably. And that would suck. Let's see what we can get going here. Okay, we got some more radar going on here, which is great. Ah, the, sh the Shrike dropship. All right, so however, most important, new engine security capacity, blah, 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 blah. 
So... Better planes, let's get that underway. Now, I'm curious, does that auto- like, does that automatically upgrade? It doesn't. We'd have to decommission this thing, so we won't be able to do that till next month. I wish we could retrofit and, like, just upgrade it, but we can't. It's a medium. A couple Foxtrots should be enough. Return to base. Return to base. It's just a condor. We're going to have to wait. Again, just air striking to take him out. We're going to have to wait. Hopefully we're good now. Another one. Don't think a foxtrot and a condor alone are going to be enough. Oh, maybe they are. Once again, airstrike. Airstrike. I'm not ready yet. Just want to get rid of them. So let's take a look at our men here. So we have eight people. <sighs> eight people. Accuracy. So you're going to be a sniper. Um, everybody's out of precision stuff, so that's all we got. That's what you're going to get. And the other person in their strength is kind of low. He'll stay. Oh, no, he's him. Is that everybody, actually? So that's everybody. All right. That's everybody. We need to wait till the end of the month. We need money. Um, I could decommission this, which I guess I would have to do. Do want the two hundred thousand dollars? That's insane, man. I'd rather be pumping out some more weapons. I think. Let's uh. This is just a management episode at this point. I think. I just I need we need to make sure everything's good to go, man. We really do. So let's, let's start getting some more stuff. I really want this. Do I want more armor? I mean, the wolf battle armor. Scout, do I really want the scout armor? Let's get a few of these suckers up. A couple more wolf battle armors. We'll slowly start producing those. When we have the money, we might as well. We're able to attack these ships at least, which is nice. Okay, alien officer interrogation complete. Uh, the alien, the average alien soldier is just an empty shell, possessing an instinctive knowledge of the craft of war, but little, little higher brain function. There is a reason for this. Alien officers are highly intelligent and do not lead their troops in battle so much as directly possess them. Assuming direct control. I would suggest that the word officer is a misnomer. Controller would be more appropriate. The alien mindset is strange. We were already aware that this, the, the same species and rank were identical clones, but it seems that these creatures actually consider themselves interchangeable. Not exactly a collective consciousness, more that they simply have no concept of self. Provided one of their clones survives, they would not consider themselves to be dead. This makes interrogation a struggle. Not only is it difficult to threaten a creature which cannot grasp the concept of its own death, choosing the correct pronoun when asking a question becomes a minefield. Nonetheless, we managed to glean a little useful information. The captive confirmed the intention of the invasion was to kill humans individually, but not collectively. It seems they are not actually trying to wipe us out. In truth, this is nothing we did not already know. If the aliens wanted to annihilate us, they would simply have bombed us into extinction from orbit. The invasion evidently has a higher purpose, but we could not extract it from our captive. We'll have to capture the alien leader to learn more. So we just progress the story a little bit. All right. Let's get this thing underway. I think that's our best bet. Get some better weapons. So we have wolf armor done. Let's start slapping some of our, our better soldiers with wolf armor. Basically, our front of the line, guys, I think, is going to be our best bet. It's going to suck because our time units are going to be really slow and really, really low. But at the same time, it's almost necessary. This is going to have to happen. Um, I do want another precision laser. Let's get that underway. 
I do want to sh that's two hundred thousand dollars. Buzzard Scout Armor. You know, let's get a Buzzard Scout Armor going. Maybe this will be better for... For, like, Riflemen. I don't know. I don't know if it would be better or not. I'm not giving up, man. I'm not giving up. Okay. Auto resolve, return to base, intercept. Let's go ahead and airstrike it. Oh boy. All right. Auto resolve, return to base. Auto resolve, return to base. Money, money. We'll be good in a couple hours. Corsair interceptor. Uh, craft evolutionary rather than revolutionary. Good. Alright, we'll take care of that. We want the electroshock grenade next. Let's get that going. Something else we can build. So, can we? Not quite yet. I'd rather let the little one go. We'll send out these guys. Whoa, what is that? A bomber? Auto resolve that thing. Uh, okay, we got some good stuff. And we will... Am I ready to bring these guys out? I mean, they get, they gotta get their experience, right? How's are my army looking at this point? Let's take a look at them. Everybody's good. You know what? I think it's better now to just do it and, and send some of these new guys out there. So let's engage on this mission and hope that this is going to go well. I really, I was focused on just rebuilding. I think, you know, we have kind of a fleet that really does a good job at dealing with everything. And I would love to get one more base up to get more planes to cover like East Asia. That would be like my... I, you know, best, uh, best outcome possible, but it's just not going to happen. But we do have some people who have quite a bit of good armor, uh, but we're going to stop this episode here. We'll, uh, we'll do this battle next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see what happens. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, come back tomorrow, more daily Xenonauts for now at least, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.